Hello guys, my name is Jesper Nissen and in this video I'm going to show you how I interlink my chat GPT links that I found in my last video for maximum power and effects. In my last video I showed you how I use chat GPT to uh, find and discover free link building opportunities and um, the thing is with these links that one they are free and uh, two they uh, most of them actually deliver do follow backlinks so uh, these links carry a built-in authority so free authority and default links that's what we need um, and before i proceed i want to encourage you to hop over to facebook and uh, find this group and just join this because inside of this group i am sharing all sorts of uh, tricks that i'm not going to share here on youtube and it's free so yeah if you want you can join i discovered a list of 30 links uh, 30 link opportunities in my last video and uh, so now i've been starting to build these links out and so what i'm seeing so far i've built built i think 20 or 25 links to a test website i've, I've seen surprisingly good results and when i'm seeing good results i mean most if not all of these links they actually index within a couple of days and i have seen ranking improvements so across almost all of the keywords that I'm monitoring on this test website, it's a real life website. So uh, yeah, it's surprising to me that it actually works so well, especially so, since they're free. And I mean, it's super easy to discover them and it's also super easy to build. So there are a couple of things that I do to maximize the power and effect of these links. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Um, so let me hop over to mind map. So I made this diagram for you so you can see what it is that I'm doing. So let's suppose that I'm going to build links into yespanism.com. So yespanism.com, that's my website, and I want to improve my rankings. So what do I do? I uh, built a lot of do follow links into this website. And I have these uh, four links as examples about me, card.co, taplink.cc, and beacons.ai. And um, well, these are the just examples. And so if I search for Jesper Nielsen SEO and I hop down to page two, I should begin to see, yeah, here I have about me. I should begin to see some of these free web two links actually ranking. So uh, I should say that I didn't build these links. I didn't build any backlinks to these guys here. They just rank out of the box, so to speak. And if I go to page three, I see tab link here. And if I go to, yeah, you'll notice giga courses and all of these pirates that are <coughs> promoting, promoting my, uh, my courses. So if I go to page four, I see beacons. I showed you that in a video and show, and I have link tree and so on and so forth. So many of these links, they will actually rank relatively high in google for branded keywords for branded keywords so if you have a brand especially in local or in low competition if your brand uh, you want to promote your brand or if you're doing uh, let's say um, reputation management it's actually a good idea to build as many of these links as possible and especially in the way that i'm going to show you now because they will rank relatively high considering that they have no backlinks at all um and uh, yeah, so you can push, you know, competitors down or, or, you know, companies that are trying to rank for your keywords, companies that are trying to trying to rank for your branded keywords, push them down by building these guys here. So I have here these four examples. And uh, what, uh, so the first thing that you're going to um, consider is that preferably the first link here about me, let me just, point a link into expedition.com from all four. So preferably uh, oops, what you want to do is you want to, um, so like this, you want to have the first link to be some of the links that actually rank the highest. So I know that about.me rank relatively high without backlinks. I know that card.co ranks relatively high without backlinks. Taplink, you just saw that. And Beacons also, uh, it's not that high, but um, about me, I know that it, it has ranking power. So you want to have that first. So what I do is, I of course, I always place a link into my website. 
So then I have my Twitter account. Let's just help from here. And I always try to link from uh, any of these platforms up to my Twitter account because what I do, the reason that I want to do that is, uh, oh, I think, uh, let's see if I can, yeah. So the reason that I want to do that link to Twitter from all of these, if possible, is because whenever I build a link like this, I always tweet it. And then I build this link and then I tweet it. And then I build this link and then I tweet it. So first of all, uh, my website gets boosted, of course, from these links, but also my Twitter account get also gets boosted. So my Twitter profile will get a massive, massive authority as high, if not, of course, it has built an authority uh, as high, if not higher than my, uh, my website. And what I'm seeing is from uh, the size that I'm doing this type of link building is that my Twitter profile and my tweets when I tweet some about some subjects, they will begin to rank. In the beginning, you will see them, uh, these tweets rank in page three and then in page two, and sometimes in page one for the long tail keywords. Uh, and uh, so you can actually power your Twitter account up and that's, I really encourage that. It also help, helps with indexing. So the next thing that I do is that, um, let's say I build the about me dot first, I link into yespinist.com, what I do is I build cart.co and then I build a link to about me. Because what I have done now is I have built a link to yespinism.com, but I have also boosted about me. So the about me link to yespinism.com now becomes twice as powerful. So what I do next is the tab link, I build a link to cart.co, I build a link to yespinism.com, but I also build a link to about me because now the about me link is three times as powerful. And beacons.ai, I build a link to yespinism.com. I build a link to tab links. And I also build a link to about me because now the about me link is four times as powerful. So what happens is that when <coughs> I, I do use indexers to index these links. But what I see happening now, because I'm, I'm doing it like this, what I'm seeing now is that uh, when the Google bot comes to visit this beacons.ai, it follows this link doot, up to yespinism.com and it gives this a little bit of a boost. And then it follows this link to tab link and over here. But over here, uh, it also follows this link and this link. But uh, Google bot also follows this link. So you can see here actually Googlebot comes in from the right, doot, then it goes up here and then it goes over here, up here and over here and up here and over here and up here and so on and so forth. And all of these guys, remember they also link to Twitter, uh, what, uh, what doot, like this, they also link to Twitter and my Twitter account also links to yespedition.com. And Twitter has massive authority which also helps Yes, but it's not comes rankings. So uh, now I only have four links. And so imagine what happens if you build 20, 30 or 40 links, how powerful this about me dot, uh, about dot me links com becomes and how powerful this card.co links link becomes. So about dot me and card.co potentially it gets let's say 40, 50, 60 backlinks, depending on how much time you have. I know that this is manual link building. I know it takes time, but potentially they get a lot, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 backlinks, and they will rank. They will begin to become very powerful and they will begin to rank and they will begin to, you know, increase and rise up for your brand, uh, brand, uh, branded keywords. And, um, Again, <clears throat> I am, um, I'm experimenting right now. I'm testing right now the power of these free links. I call them ChatGPT links. It's not, I mean, it's, they've got nothing to do with ChatGPT, but I, I'm just using ChatGPT to, to find these links, uh, link opportunities. <coughs> and 
after these 2025 links, I'm seeing positive improvements from almost all of the keywords from the real test website that I'm monitoring. So it's really, uh, it's, it's insane after only two or three days, uh, of, uh, after, I mean, actually after only one day, the first batch of 10 links, uh, they indexed and one day after they indexed, I already saw improvements the next day, 20, 10 more links indexed even more improvements so it's really it's super powerful so if you are super advanced what you could do is you could actually build backlinks cloud link one you could actually build backlinks to all of these guys here so let's say you have a uh, cloud stagger like yax uh, which is what i use because i'm the design designer of yax so cloud links use them as tier two links to these guys here cloud link two here this could be microsoft azure this could be google cloud and then uh, this could be idrive idrive cloud and so on and so forth so uh, you could do like this um, because then you would actually <coughs> increase the authority and the power of these guys even more but what's uh, that's only if you have the budget, of course, to uh, subscribe to, to Yaks. Um, or you could build these guys manually, of course. But um, what's interesting about this strategy is that you don't need any paid tools at all to perform this task. All you need is computer, internet, and uh, a Gmail. I use a brand Gmail to do this. So that's all you need. Uh, and uh, you need the free chat to PC. It's free. I use the free version. And uh, it, I mean, <coughs> right now I'm using ChatGPT for all sorts of things. And it seems that ChatGPT, it is crawling the internet and it's kind of like, you can ask ChatGPT questions and you can ask ChatGPT, how do I index links? How do I, you know, all sorts of ideas. You can do, you just use your imagination uh, for this. And uh, it seems actually right now, I think that ChatGPT is indexing and categorizing the internet much better than google or bing is actually doing or yahoo and it's not because i'm using bing or yahoo or dr go i'm only using google still um, but chat gpt is for this kind of information gathering you know finding these do follow link opportunities uh you know getting ideas um for this kind of uh, link building strategies I use ChatGPT to ChatGPT to help me with that. So it's just, yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah. So that's what uh, I have on my mind today. That was what I wanted to share with you guys. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you in this, in the next one. Take care.